This is a second test. Checking. The last one was off by four thousand, so I made some adjustments. I'm gonna check and see how this one comes out. This is initial run. Downward feed is a plunge feed. It's usually a lot slower. You get to see the initial plunge in. That should be about 50 thousandths. That's about halfway down to where it's going to go. A little rough on the edges. This is a roughing end mill. This is a two flute. Just doing basic roughing. Should come back now. I'm hoping to pick up a hundred thousandths on this pass. I think that one went to 80, I apologize. Yeah, that one went to 75, sorry. I couldn't remember how I programmed it yesterday. And the next one will pick up to 25. I left the 10,000 clearance again on this part. This is the old machine I showed a few months ago that I saved from the scrapper. Um, redesigned the controller system. I actually put a centroid in here. Um, it's a quasi-commercial quasi system. Seems to work pretty good. Uh, I was using Mach 3 and everything. And, and there's nothing wrong with Mach 3. I just, I don't know, I maybe outgrow it, outgrow it. This system here seems to work really good. I'm still using Mach 3 on my plasma table that I built, but it's a, for me anyways, maybe not other people, but it seems a little bit buggy, so I decided to try the Centroid. I'm having some issues with the Centroid controller. I'm going to have to try and figure out what they are. Um, like for instance, when I hit, go to in, initiate one of the accesses after a initial start of the program, it doesn't pick up the steps initially. Um, I'm going to go back in and, and look at the pulse generator and see if maybe it, it's that or I'm, I've got packet loss or something between the controller. Ultimately what I'm trying to do right now is I just want to make sure it's repeating. Make sure I'm not losing steps anywhere. And I want to make sure that I adjusted that uh, x-axis and y-axis and make sure everything's good to go with them. So we stopped it. So, get my hand in there. You blow the chips out. Check it with an indicator real quick. Let me grab my stare at indicator. I'm gonna see what we got. This way. Hope should be within 10 thousandths. This way was, that time it's 85 and 85. So I'm within, this time I'm in, they're actually X and Y down on the money, but both of them are off by uh, about four and a half thousandths. Sorry about that. Both of them are off. So they're both checking within a thousandths of each other, which is good, but they're both off. Um, my final dimension, I could have sworn, was a 10 thousandths wall. Um, we'll see. I'll run it again and see if it cleans it up and see if it gets me closer to that, uh, that 190. So I'll bring you back as soon as I get that done.